Why is steel more elastic than rubber? Let's untangle in this video. Stretchiness of material and elasticity is generally considered as same property. This is the main misconception leading to this question. Let's see how. First, let's do a quick run through the definitions. Elasticity is the property of material to regain its original shape and size after removal of deforming force, while stretchiness is the property of material to elongate easily and regain its original shape and size after removal of the force. In both the definitions, regaining its original shape and size is the common thing. But the main difference is, material is said to be more stretchy if it can elongate more, while material is said to be more elastic if it can handle more deforming force and still won't go any permanent deformation and will regain its originals when force is removed. The misconception is considering elongation and force-bearing capacity as same things. For better understanding of this, we'll take an example. We know that elasticity is more if the Young's modulus for the material is more. Let's find out the Young's modulus of rubber and steel. Consider a steel and rubber rod, both with length 10 units and cross-sectional area be one square unit for both. Now we will apply 100 Newton tensile force on both and see what happens. This rubber being stretchy will say elongate by 5 unit and with same force still may elongate by just one unit. Let's put it in the formulas. So the formula of Young's modulus is stress upon strain and stress is equal to force upon area. Now as force is 100 Newton for both and area is one square unit for both, hence stress on both will be same equal to 100. Strain is change in length upon original length and length for both the specimens are same. Only the difference is that rubber has elongated by 5 units while steel has elongated by 1 unit. So by putting the values in the formula of Young's modulus, we get Young's modulus of rubber as 200 while for steel we get it as 1000. This means steel is more elastic than rubber. Here's another way to prove it. If you pull rubber by your full strength, it will elongate and break. Now it won't regain its original shape and size once it breaks. But if you apply your same strength onto steel, its elongation will be very less and not even noticeable and it won't break either. And it will also regain its original shape and size once you remove the force. And this process will be very instantaneous. So you can say that rubber is more stretchy than steel. But as stretchiness and elasticity are not the same things, Hence, steel being able to bear more force without going permanent deformation, it is said to be more elastic. Talking about compressive forces, it is misinterpreted same as of fluffiness, which is not the case. And the explanation for it is also the same. So remember, elasticity means capacity to bear deforming force without going permanent deformation while stretchiness and fluffiness is the property to easily alter shapes. If you learn something new, check out other videos on our channel and subscribe for the new ones. Also make sure you hit the like button. If having any questions, feel free to mention them down in the comment section below. As of for now, I'm signing off and see you guys next week.